As 2025 ends, China has stunned the world by unveiling its most ambitious military aircraft yet, the J-36 and J-50 fighter jets. These aren't just new planes, they mark a leap in technology and military ambition. For years, experts speculated about China's next-generation air power. Now, the wait is over. In late December 2024, images of a tailless jet over Chengdu and a sleek fighter above Shenyang hit Chinese social media, confirming the J-36 and J-50 were real and already flying. The defense world took notice. China's military modernization is moving faster than anyone predicted. This isn't just about national pride, it's a clear signal of China's strategic intent to challenge US air dominance. The J-36 and J-50 are designed to rival and in some ways surpass Western jets, boasting advanced stealth, AI, and seamless data sharing. These jets are more than hardware, they're symbols of a shifting world order. China is determined to become a top-tier military power, projecting influence far beyond its borders. Their rapid progress forces other nations to rethink security and the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. The sky has changed, and these two jets are the reason why. China's breakneck push for the J-36 and J-50 is no accident, it's a core part of its national strategy. The leadership sees technological and military superiority as essential for securing its interests and future. After years of closing the tech gap with the West, China now aims to lead, not just catch up. Tensions in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait have made air superiority a top priority. China's defense industry, fueled by massive investment, can now run multiple advanced projects at once, including two sixth-generation fighters. Civilian breakthroughs in AI, quantum computing and materials are quickly adapted for military use, accelerating progress. The US is developing its own sixth-gen fighter, NGAD, aiming for the mid-2030s. China is determined to match that timeline. This is a direct race. Every delay for one side is an advantage for the other. The urgency is real. China wants to be on equal footing with the US from the start of this new era. That's why the J-36 and J-50 have moved from concept to flying prototypes in record time. The world is watching, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The J-36 is a massive imposing aircraft built to dominate land and sky. Developed by Chengdu, it's a long-range land-based air superiority fighter designed to fly deep into enemy territory and control the airspace. Its wingspan, about 65 feet, makes it one of the largest fighters ever, built for range and endurance. The radical tailless blended wing design maximizes stealth and internal volume for fuel and weapons. Its triple-engine setup is unique, providing huge power for speed, advanced electronics, and possibly future energy weapons. The J-36 is more than a fighter, it's a flying command center, packed with sensors and AI. The pilot acts as a mission commander, while the AI manages flight and systems. Its role isn't just to shoot down planes but to gather and share battlefield data, controlling a network of assets. The J-36 can coordinate with other jets, ships, and drones, making it a formidable force multiplier. This aircraft, is designed to control the skies over vast distances, especially in the Pacific. It's a new breed of fighter for a new era of warfare. While the J-36 rules the land, the J-50 is built for the sea. Developed by Shenyang, the J-50 is China's next-gen carrier-based fighter, smaller, sleeker, and tough enough for naval aviation. Its twin engines and Lambda wing design offer reliability and agility for carrier operations. With a 50-foot wingspan, it fits more easily on crowded carrier decks, Features like reinforced landing gear and an arrestor hook make it ready for the rigors of carrier landings. Designed for China's newest carrier, the Type 003 Fujian, the J-50 brings stealth AI and networked power to the Navy. It's a game-changer, extending China's reach and protecting its fleets far from home. What truly sets the J-36 and J-50 apart is what's inside advanced stealth, AI, and networked warfare. Both jets use tailless designs, radar-absorbent materials, and internal weapons bays to stay hidden from enemy radar. Onboard AI acts as co-pilot and tactical advisor, handling routine tasks and suggesting strategies, freeing the pilot to focus on the big picture. These jets are built to fight as part of a team, constantly sharing data with each other, drones and ships. A J-36 might spot a distant target and instantly relay that info to a warship or drone swarm for a coordinated strike. This system-of-systems approach multiplies combat power, 
one pilot can direct a team of loyal wingman drones to scout, jam, or attack. Future air combat won't be one-on-one -on -one dogfights, but coordinated multi-directional attacks led by a single jet. The pilot becomes a battlefield quarterback, directing assets for maximum effect. This networked warfare changes everything making each jet a force multiplier. China's new fighters are not just planes, they're intelligent nodes in a digital battlefield, the result overwhelming coordinated power that's hard to counter. This is the future of air combat. Bringing a new fighter from factory to front line is a grueling process, and the J-36 and J-50 are deep into it. After first flights in Chengdu and Shenyang, both prototypes moved to a secretive airbase near Lop Nur for advanced testing. Satellite images confirm both jets operating from this remote, expanded base, proof of a highly coordinated test program. Engineers are pushing the jets to their limits. Speed, stealth, sensors, and AI are all under scrutiny. For the J-50, land-based catapults and arrestor gear simulate carrier operations before it ever goes to sea. Analysts predict both jets could be ready for initial service by the mid-2030s, a rapid timeline. Next comes weapons integration, then operational testing with elite squadrons. If China stays on track, its sixth-generation Air Force could debut alongside America's. The race to field these jets is on. The J-36 and J-50 are central to China's plan for a fully modern military by mid-century. The J-36 gives the Air Force long-range strike and air superiority, transforming it from a defensive force to one that can operate far from home. It works with stealth bombers and surveillance aircraft for a credible long-range threat. The J-50 revolutionizes China's Navy, replacing older jets and giving carriers true global reach. Together, they create a layered air power system, J-36s control the skies over the first island chain, while J-50s extend air cover deep into the Pacific. This combination pressures adversaries and shifts the regional balance. China's military posture in the Indo-Pacific is fundamentally changed. China's rapid progress with the J-36 and J-50 is shaking up Washington, challenging America's air power dominance. For the first time since the Cold War, the U.S. faces a peer competitor with the resources and ambition to match its capabilities. America's answer is the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, a system of systems built around a 6th gen fighter and uncrewed aircraft. The goals are similar, stealth, AI, and networked warfare, but the U.S. program has faced delays and soaring costs, while China's state-driven approach moves fast and fully funded. U.S. military leaders warn that falling behind could be a major risk, especially over Taiwan. The U.S. often pursues the most advanced tech, but at the cost of speed and budget. China's model is about rapid, focused development, even if the tech isn't always revolutionary. The real test, which system delivers effective air power first? This race is about more than jets. It's a contest of national innovation. The J-36 and J-50 aren't just military milestones, they mark a new era of global competition. The China-US race for 6th gen air power will shape international relations, economics and technology for decades. Indo-Pacific nations must now rethink their defense strategies, likely triggering a new wave of military modernization. This competition drives innovation, but also risks economic decoupling and tech restrictions. The scramble for resources like AI chips is a direct result of this strategic rivalry. As two superpowers push the limits, the risk of miscalculation and tension rises. The world needs clear rules and diplomacy to manage this high-stakes race. As 2026 begins, the choices made in Beijing and Washington will impact us all.